this is Take and Fusey, and welcome back to another video. And today so we're going to be looking at the Tim and T Nico San Diego Comic Con 2022 booth. Yeah, God, that's a mouthful to say. But either way, we're looking at the upcoming products, which are going to be including the Tim and T cartoon line, the comic book line, the movie line, and the Monster Universal X line. So yeah, we've got quite a lot to unpack here. And unfortunately, I was not able to go to this year. Uh, in fact, I've not been to any of them, but still, that's not the point. But one person was able to take loads of pictures of them, and I'm grateful for it. So this picture will give you a little teaser of what's to come within this video, in terms of what's to come within the coming weeks, months, days, decades. Okay, so this first image is, is of a Stark, who we already know, and most people go him in their hands, playing with him and stuff like that. So this is an okay image, but doesn't really add anything to us. Now, this next one we go over, we've got the Cooking Ninja Troll Gang and their leader, was it like Nash or something? But this is more like a uh, close up look, even though these figures, I'm pretty sure they're shipping right now or going to be ship, uh, shipping very soon. Now, the next one is of Zach, which is a, a close up look. And oh, damn, I really wish I ordered them now. Yikes. Um, well, what can you do now? So, the first character we got new to the uh, to Comic Con is Blossom, I think the character is called, which is this female ninja here, who many people thought was Karai, but turns out it's not. I'm pretty sure it's either Blossom or Lotus, it's, it's, it's not like that. And she has a flower from the episode, but yeah. And then there's this blue guy, which I'm not too sure who he is. It looks actually really cool, actually. Um, I'm not too sure I'll pick up, I don't know if these two are in the pack together, because... On this site, there hasn't really been any information, or there was, I haven't really looked into it. So, who knows, there might be. But if these two are the path, then I'll say that's a good choice. But I don't know who the blue man is, so I can't exactly say too sure. And then we've got a picture of Burn, which, yeah, he's just amazing. Uh, then we've got a brand new one, which is the uh, Mighty Beam Rock Study. And, the, yeah, they look cool. Um... Oh, yeah, oh my god, I'm just looking at the hands, wow, they're really unique, uh, I'm just even looking at some of these things for the first time as well, or I, you know, I looked at them briefly before I did this video, but, I'm, but close up now, wow, um, very cool, um, I'd, I'm not too sure I would pick up this uh, pack, I mean, as much as I like Tolls, I don't think I can get every variant of a character, but these ones do look really cool, and I do feel like they're really going into the line really deep now, where like, if you know this character from this specific episode, then you're probably going to get it. And it does look really cool, very comic booky, I'd say, in terms of their appearances. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure how many people would pick these ones up, but I think because it's been Rock's Day, there may be a bit more of a demand for these characters. Uh, and then going to being, um, Robot Being Rock's Day, or is it Super Being Rock's Day? Oh, God, it's so confusing now with what, <laughs> what these characters are called. Um, but yeah, here they are. Um, I'm pretty sure they are shipping very soon because I know that was part of the toy Walmart toy fund or something like that. So I think they should be coming out very soon. Uh, next one we've got Anthrax, I think his name is, but we've already got him um, in hand and stuff. Uh, there's no one new here really, but then we got Rex. Oh boy, does he look amazing! Um, yeah, he is one of my favorite characters from the show, and oh boy. He looks amazing, and I feel like I'm definitely going to have to pick this character up. He just looks so amazing. Um, I, I can't really say much more than that. I'm really interested with some like the articulation sort of stuff, though, in terms of what they're going to be doing. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's something about this character which maybe have bad articulation, but I'm interested to see how they will portray things with this uh, character. And uh, again, something new here in this image. And then going to here, which I feel like, uh, I, I don't know if it's really been confirmed yet, whether they are doing the layout or not, but I feel like with these images, that they most definitely are. Uh, but I do get a better look at the uh, items they do get with the neutrinos um, there, which should be coming out um, inside at the end of the year, so that's quite cool. And also do get a better look at the neutrinos anyway. Um, and yeah. But then we do come over to more this more interest. If we do actually get past all these uh, bits here, oh yeah, this is actually a new character. Um, it's from the one with the where like this machine took over the um, or trying to take over the machines and stuff. 
Uh, he came in the accessory, the robot came in with Splinter and uh, oh, Baxter. So I'm not tr- quite interested to see where this robot goes with because I can't really imagine where he would go except from like it would be like a perfect option to put him with the mouses, but but didn't. So I'm very interested where to put him. Maybe with uh, Rex. Not too sure. But then we do come over to here, which has the more interesting part about it all. Uh, if we do get over here, wait for it. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's another new character from things like Bugman, I think it is. Uh, I'm not exactly too sure on the names because, once again, I'm not too big of an uh, A7 Tell fan, but I enjoyed this version enough to actually collect some of the figures. And he looks really cool. And uh, if he wasn't so expensive, I would have bought him. He looks so amazing and just. Wow, because I do remember this episode, and oh god, this figure. Mm, I got to move on before I start making any final decisions on these figures. Oh god, uh, we do get a close up of the uh, bat or the dark turtle. If you actually, if you do actually get this toll, is another question, so who knows really? Um, we do get a close up look of the rook soldier infantryman, um, and yeah. And then we do get a closer look of the um oh, this guy Rock Study, Bean Rock, uh Baxon, all these guys before they got mutated. This is oh my god, is that who's that guy? Um this guy here. Is that Shredder is that Baxter with another helmet? Is that a different variant or is that a head? Uh alternate to head? Oh my god, I really wish I bought this pack now and see if they've got Oh, I'm really disappointed now, but oh my god. It has like a different ex- Wow, that's amazing. Um, yeah, I'm really disappointed I didn't buy the back some thing now. Uh, and then we do have a, a close up look of a um, a, to- a two pack which we got revealed a couple of weeks ago from the packaging or someone else, and that is Mona Lisa. And I think he's Dirk Savage, but I'm not exactly too sure. But yeah, I feel like this one is going to be more like well, people like uh, Mona Lisa, so. You'll begin, uh, you'll begin, you you'll basically will begin that pack, and then just gonna get this, this one guy who you may know or may not. Uh, I mean, the only interesting thing was Roxy's helmet. Is that, um, okay, it's not on here. Okay, that's interesting. Just before I bring it up, uh, I've got Raza, I mean, Doka, then got the Glowing Dark Mujin Man, which, uh, he came out for Toy Fun as well, I think it was. Um, but there's not really too much new here. And then we do get a close up look of Hamato Yoshi, Splinter, and then some other turtles. But uh, yeah, this Hamato Yoshi looks really cool. Um, I can't really say too much more than that. I feel like maybe they could have given him the cloth uh, robe and all that sort of stuff, um, I guess. But at the same time, I'm not exactly too sure what it could have done. But we do get the mini turtles uh, when they got shrunk down. That's quite cool. Uh, just some other stuff here, like, oh my god, daddy. The thing from the season two episode where they're trying to find the crystal that's quite cool. And we've got uh, must be four baby turtles. Wow, um, yeah, this is all actually really cool. Um, so looking down here, we've got uh, Yusagi, and then we've got the turtle tots. Yay, they look really cool. Um, I am actually quite interested to see how, di- how they're gonna be released. If it's gonna be like it's just gonna be those four and Maybe some other characters in there. Um, yeah, I'm really interested to see what they're going to be doing. But at the same time, you've got Donnie with a little stick there, but then you've got Rafa with his normal side. So I'm not exactly too sure what else they're going to be doing. Um, this whole thing seems weird, I would say, but it looks really interesting and promising in terms of what it could do. This is probably one of the ones which I'm more interested about because they're so unique. Um Especially, uh, also, I'm quite uh, surprised with like the articulation as well. Um, I'm really surprised at that because, like, how like small they are, I would have thought they would have not had that much articulation. But yeah, I'm quite surprised with that. Um, and then I'm going to go over to the comic book stuff um, and the movie stuff, which I feel like if you do, if you can look, if you're just looking here, if anybody would know, some of the stuff that is uh, coming up. Uh, so we've got the Archie comics, we've got the uh, Man Ray uh, from. Ray Flay, yeah. So we got all these different accessories. They look cool, really fit his but uh, his character. Oh, that's quite cool. The inside of his um like 
um, like elbow joints that's curled up by black to you should be dink. Oh, that's actually really cool. Did not notice that. That's that really nice. Good job. Uh, when, and then, like, we finally got our first Necker figure, uh, or Loot Crate one, or I did, um, the other day. Um, so yeah, it's was quite just one okay. So, there's no box for him just yet revealed for Man Ray, but then we do get Slash, and he is issue number one. Okay, yeah, that makes sense a bit more. Uh, no real to new accessories, so we didn't know about, but we get we are getting the um, the person who did the designs for the comics, he's coming back for. Doing the box art, which looks really cool. Then you get a picture of the last Ronin and all of his accessories. Oh boy, does that look amazing! But we are getting a Ben Bishop uh, uh box, I think it is. I'm pretty sure that's Ben Bishop, or the was it the Crazy Brothers? I think, I think that's what they're called. That looks amazing. Uh, here's a close up uh, look of the accessories for all of them, look amazing. Uh, here's the other box again, looks so amazing, cool, beautiful. Um, and yeah, so going more on, we got Casey. We haven't got a box for him, so not exactly too sure when he's coming in the line. So, quite interested by that. But we'll do get like a better look of his accessories and stuff. Um, and yeah, they look, they look cool, I guess. Um, he does look very skinny though, uh, like got a little waist, bit, bit, like waist, and then like a big body. I don't know. For he looks cool though. Um, yeah. Then got close up. And then got Renette, uh, Fugitoid, and then here's the more interesting one. Uh, okay, we have got Crank. Oh, uh, Utron there. Oh, no, hang on. Um, so you've got the Mutant Shredder Army. Oh my God! Wow. Um, yeah, so surprisingly, Yonius is coming with two uh hands and stuff, but he's got four hands, so I wish I would give him more hands. And then also give him a cup and some flowers, so I'm quite interested to see what that's all about. And I do hope that I'm pretty sure they're going to be a two pack, and that's just going to be amazing. I am quite interested to see if it's going to be a normal release or if it's going to be a two pack. But I can't believe we're finally going to be able to complete a Mutant Team and T clone army for once. I mean, 2003, we had the Claw, uh, the claw one and the Forearm one. Uh, 2012 had the Claw one and the Shrimp one. Um, so, yeah, finally, we get a complete a set for once <laughs> at last. Uh, but, uh, yeah, um, moving on to the uh, movie side, we got the announcement of the uh, of two packs with the Donnie and Mikey. Uh, we've got the sexy set uh, at the bad part. I don't know if that's been re released or anything. Um, I think in the Leah and Raph one, which I can't really say too much other than they look cool and stuff, they're not really for me. But if you're into the movie stuff or still are, then you know they're there, they look cool, decent enough. Um, and then we do get some closer looks up on the Monster Universal stuff. So we already got uh, so Raph and Leah have already been released. Uh, they look Decent, I'd say. I'm not really into that uh, movie side sort of stuff. I've got my four tails, Shredder, Splinter, Casey, and the Foot Soldiers, and I'm done. Uh, but all these, uh, I mean, if it's all cuts and that's good for you, I'm, but I can't really, I mean, if these were like £10 or dollars or whatever it is, then I'll be all over these uh, because they look really cool. I think it's just because of the price. I can't exactly buy everything. And, oh, God. Uh, but we do get a closer look up on the Mikey and the Donny. And they do look cool, I would say. Mikey looks... I mean, we've already got a close-up look on him with the little movie footage or trailer sort of thing. So, again, yeah, he looks cool there. Uh, Donnie, yeah, he looks as about good as you can really get. Um, I mean, he's got a telescope that's like, or microscope sort of thing that's cool. A book which they're reusing. Um, the head looks cool with... Is that, like, rats coming out of it? That's decent. And then get interchangeable leg parts to make it look like he's got invisible legs. So one of them gonna do anything like that for hands. I'm quite interested by that. Um when you get a closer look on the April, looks decent, nice, and the splinter, which uh yeah, d- looks decent. Uh some accessories. Uh okay, so don't need to not come with any interchangeable hands, stuff like that. Um yeah, so I think that's it, really. I'm pretty sure there's not any other news, uh, like descriptions or anything that he gave. No, it's just people just giving their opinions on it. So, 
yeah, a shout out to all you guys, I guess. Um, but yeah, all these images do look really cool. Um, and I'll just get this image up. So yeah, we got a very interesting year, two years ahead of us in terms of what we could begin with in terms of tell characters and movie, comic book, games, crossovers, you name it, they're doing it. And oh boy, do they all look amazing. Uh, but wow, just yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, see what you guys have to say about it in the comments below. Like, which figure are you looking forward to the most? Um, I would have to say that I'm looking forward to Rex One. Uh, he's probably the one which I'm probably going to be picking up. But at the same time, I'm really looking forward to seeing how they do the like the other two mutant uh, shredders because I've always wanted to complete the collection, and now I may be finally begin out to get, be able to. So. Yay. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to see what you have to say about this in the comments below. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. If you do love this one, please share, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Goodbye, yo. Bye.